Hi guys, welcome back to Garage Tech. In this video, I'm going to take a look at the variable geometry turbocharger, known as the VGT, and how they work. Typically used on diesel engines, these types of turbos help reduce turbo lag at low RPM, while also being able to control and limit boost pressure at higher RPM. Inside the turbo, there are a number of vanes which adjust to either increase the exhaust gas speed or slow it down. When the vanes are in the small gap position, this increases the velocity or speed of the exhaust gases. Think of it like blowing through a small diameter of thin straw. The airflow is fast, which in turn then spins the turbo turbine faster. The engine speed picks up and so does the boost pressure. Now we need to reduce the speed of the turbo. The vanes open up wider, which slows the velocity of the exhaust gases, which in turn slows the turbo. If more boost is needed, the vanes adjust again, closing the gap to increase the gas speed. So at low engine speed, when the exhaust gas volume and speed is lower, the adjustments of the vanes increase the exhaust gas speed or velocity, which makes the turbo spool up faster, giving you more boost sooner at lower RPM. The vanes are controlled by an electronic or vacuum operated actuator. Common faults are the vanes seizing up due to buildup of soot, carbon and oil, and then the vanes get stuck in a position where either too much boost is produced, so you get an over boost fault, or low or no boost with a lack of power. Okay, that's a quick look at the VGT turbos. If you have any other questions, please post them in the comments section below. Give this a thumbs up, and if you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button. Thanks all. See you on the next one.